we're looking right straight down on his uh, pits from the tower here and it can't see any any fluids there the time that he stopped but a reminder coming up next atp tennis the great american insurance championship jeff gordon crosses the line and there are now three laps to go at watkins glen and yet you know who the fastest car on the racetrack right now is who robbie gordon is he yes he's running fourth the last lap he ran 115.7 the leader ran 114.9 we have quite a treat coming up in that tennis match it was a year ago this weekend that jerry punch Learn how to pronounce the name of one of the uh, the players in that final to be Pete Sampras against Doc. Are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Tomas Muster. Very good. Yeah, he learns last, well, doesn't he? Yeah, last year we struggled a little bit with old Tomas, but uh, <laughs> this year we know him by heart. All right, Sampras and Muster coming up in tennis in just a few minutes. Watching back there for fifth and sixth. There's. Gordon off the corner once again, headed down for turn number 10. There's a slow car, huh? Strickland. But he'll be out of the way. He's got to dive to the inside of it. Well, he really tried. He is driving as hard as he possibly can to get alongside, get position on that seven car. Can't quite make it. Laps are running out. Two to go. And here we go, Martin. Passes his teammate, Ted Musgrave. That's for fifth spot. And that's five more points. Oh, and Joe Nemechek is in the come on, Come Joe, on, Joe. Ass, baby. Atta boy. <laughs> Don't hit the wall and don't get stuck in the sand. He didn't do either one. He's back on track, pulling ahead of uh, Johnny Benson. So he falls back to 11th position. But he kept the accelerator down. Yep. Went right on through that sand, dirt, and gravel. If he hit the brakes, he'd have been stuck. Todd Bodine, the pole sitter of the race, just went behind the wall here in the late going. He was running in 29th position. Here's a look of, once again at what happened. Oh, front row Joe got in there too deep, didn't he, man? Got in there a little bit too hard and just had to steer it left. Had no choice or he was going to spin out and he probably would have gotten stuck. But as a result of driving it on through there, keeps going. White flag is out for Jeff Gordon. One more lap to go. Chevy has recorded seven wins so far. In 1997, and guess what? He's won all of them. He's won all of them. That's correct. And he may have another win here today. He's got a couple of Fords chasing him. Jeff Bodine and Rusty Wallace. But the biggest advantage he's got, he's got about a second and a half advantage on him, guys. If he doesn't make a mistake or anything happened to that car, he has it. Oh, Lance Hooper goes off, and he, too, keeps it out of the sand and drives back onto the course. Where was he running, Ned? About well, he was uh, 23rd. 23rd, yeah. yeah. So he was one of those cars on the lead lap. Here is Gordon, headed down for... the uh, inner loop I get no turn 10 turn 10 He's the just left hand he loves so much he made a couple of passes there today and drives by it for the final time now he heads for turn number 11 the final turn on the course Jeff Gordon has won the bud at the Glen. his eighth win of the 1997 season his 27th career victory and now it's complete Kyle Petty has gotten off course in the inner loop See, the 81 car is sitting up there. Kenny Wallace, who had a great run doing, is sitting up, was running 13th. Sitting in the inner loop, dead in the, uh, dead in the water. Jerry Punch. Well, Ray Abraham, it took a while. Ten starts on the road course, but finally you got one. Congratulations. Well, thank you. You know, you got to attribute that to a great driver and a great team. You know, he searched for a gear ratio that he wanted, put it in yesterday, and uh, he made a great time. I want to say hi to Rick and Linda, Papa Joe, get well, and... Uh, I want to thank God for giving us the opportunity to do this. And Patty and uh, Andy Petrie giving birth right now, I hope. Yeah, hopefully. Good luck to Andy and Patty. i got to ask you, $50,000 plus Winston bonus for winning it today, uh, winning and being the point leader. Congratulations. Win number eight. 
Well, I didn't hear the last part of that, Jerry, but we sure appreciate what Winston does. And, you know, we really want to win that championship. We want that championship for Rick Hendrick this year and, and all the people at Hendrick Motorsports. It's real important to us. We're trying to stay focused and get it. All right, Ray Everham, the winning crew chief. He will head up to victory lane. He will, he will actively, he will run to victory lane as Chevrolet has now won eight in 1997. All eight coming from Jeff Gordon. Let's see if we can see what happened up in the interloop. There we see, there's Kyle Petty. He and the 43 car almost made contact. Would be, I guess he did make contact. 43 car spun. Yep. And all the cars trying to stop. Another angle. And Kenny Wallace is he's, he's stopping anyway. As we see the cars go in the corner, the 81 car is actually could not complete that last lap. Yeah, Steve that was... Park, he's on the inside. Oh, he he hits the 44 car, does Park. Obviously, you saw that, folks. <laughs> and he and Michael Walter pit then. But the 81 car was totally unrelated. Well, Jeff Gordon has won that Winston bonus four times in 1996 and five times a season, racking up. $425,120. How about that? Jeff Gordon wins again here in 1997, securing his spot atop the NASCAR Winston Cup point standings. And now the cycle is complete. He has won on a short track, won on a super speedway, and now he has won on a road course. The yellow arrows indicate those who led a lap. The double yellow there at Jeff Gordon's name indicates that he led the most laps, and so... He's going to walk out of here with just about as much point advantage as you can get. And Dale Earnhardt will come back to finish in 16th spot. 28 cars were on the lead lap when the checkered flag came out. Dale Jarrett fell to 32nd there in the late going, although he did lead a lap today. Now the point standings as we head to Michigan International, a 109-point advantage Jeff Gordon has over Mark Martin. Jared still third. Labonte and Burton. Earnhardt, Bobby Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield. McDonald's Winter Circle interview. Here's Bill Weber. And we kidded with Jeff Gordon before the race about a Gordon going to victory lane. You lead the points. You got the money. And Jeff, you won on a road course. Congratulations. I, I'm speechless. I, I really don't know what to say. Uh, this is this means so much to me and this entire team. Win our first road course race. Uh, Today was just our day. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for giving us such a, a great day and, uh, and giving me such a great team to work with and great race car. Hey to Rick at home. Uh, we know you're doing good, buddy, and uh, we love you and we miss you. I want to thank DuPont Automotive Fishes, uh, Pepsi, and uh, Quaker State Chevrolet. I mean, this is a great day for us. Jeff Gordon with a great day and a great win at Watkins Glen. And we'll see what he and the other NASCAR Winston Cup drivers can do next Sunday at Michigan Speedway. We will be there for the 400-mile race. So we'll see you then. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now let's go to tennis.